everybody. This is uh, Adam Gusso, your uh, your local neighborhood harmonica guy. We're going to talk about uh, uh, an esoteric technique that's not one that I use myself very often, but it was one that uh, somehow cycled through when I was learning how to play, and it's something that I, I'm not sure it's out there on YouTube. Certainly, I haven't put it out there, and I feel like I put a lot out over the 12 years I've been doing this, but triple tonguing. So this falls into the category of things that tongue blockers that category of blues harmonica players can't do. And if, you, if you're a tongue blocker, if you're a full-time tongue blocker and you can, I want to be the first to know. So let me know. Email me your video and I'll share it with people. Okay? Triple tonguing. Well, these are things that are adapted basically um, from trumpet playing, They're from horn playing. Triple tonguing. Now that sounds very different from which would be straight up single tonguing. So let's start with that single tonguing. So I'm going to go. Da, 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 da. I'm just single tonguing, not triple tonguing. Single tonguing would be drawing air in. And we're going to work on the four hole draw of a C harp. Draw. We're drawing air in. Da, 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 da. And going ta 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 ta. So kind of machine gunned eighth note triplets. We might add a little bit of the five draw. We might relax the right corner of our mouth. You can even go back and forth. You can do the first note as a... Again. So the, these are all single... This is all single tonguing. Now there's another video that I've uploaded that shows double tonguing. It's not really useful for triplets. But what about tr a triple tonguing is useful in a triplet rhythm. What on earth am I doing? Well, now here's the tricky thing. I'm not even sure I can explain. What I know is, though, is it's not single tonguing. In other words, it's not just... And you can hear the difference very quickly. You can hear the difference. And what's involved... What... Uh, da, da, What's involved is uh, I'm sweeping my tongue across the roof of my mouth. What a ah. Okay. So what it is is it's what a what a. So what a what a what a what a what what. Wa a debt. Wa wa a debt. Wa a debt. Wa a debt. Wa a debt. Wa. So I'm actually, it's kind of a sleight of hand thing. So the first note. The first note is my tongue going forward. Wa. And then comes back. Wa it's so it's this. Wa forward. Here's the front of my mouth. Wa that. Wa that. Wa that. Wait. Wa that. Wa a debt, wa a debt, wa a debt, wa. So th that's, this is hard to teach. I don't know if I can do this. I think I finally found my match. I should just quit. Damn. I got the blues. Ah, I just figured it out. I just figured it out. I'm not using my tongue on the first note of that triplet. I'm just going wa, wa u det, wa u det, wa u det, wa u det. And you're trying to go wa da det, wa da det, wa da det, wa da det, wa da det. Maybe that's. Why don't you try that? Wa da det, wa da det, wa da det. Folks, I'm disgusted with myself. I thought I could teach this. I can't. It's one of those mysteries that will just be unexplained. 
Um, we need somebody more skilled at these particular esoteric techniques. Joe Felisco, where are you when we need you? Oh, okay. Well, you know, every 800 or 900 videos I'm allowed an abject failure, but at least I put something interesting on the table. Maybe somebody better than me can come along and teach. I can't. Bye. technique. It's not even one that I use. Magic Dick. I think it's in Whammer Jammer at the very end, in that at, at one of the at the moments near the end. Next.